So I'm about to show you how to make a free 5M server using Sneaky Hub. I know I've already made a tutorial on this, but some things have changed in the way they run the website. So this is just like an updated tutorial. First thing you want to do is go to this website. First link in the description. Once you go here, one sec. Okay, once you go to the website, it'll look something like this. You just press create account and then sign everything out and then press create and it'll look something like this. Now once you're here, you want to go to their Discord server. So I'm not 100% sure, but if you go to your profile and you link your Discord, I'm pretty sure it automatically joins you. But if not, um, the Discord will be the second link in the description just below the website. Their Discord will look something like this. You have to like verify some shit. And then once you're here, you can go to code drops. You can like get the code drops for shards or you can even earn shards by typing like eco. And doing these commands, some of these commands you need to type in main chain. You need like 150 messages. Like this guy, you need 500 messages for monthly kind of thing. But once you've done all that and you have your shards, then you want to go to the service tab. Hop right, you press create server. Then you say your server name, I'm just say it's Tigo. Then you pick, you go, there's Minecraft, Discord, and 5M. I'm going to pick 5M. There's only only EU servers for now. I'm pretty sure they're updating it. But then you pick what one you want. So this is 3,960 monthly, 6,000 monthly, 16,000 monthly. You need 992 to make the server from like that's how much you need to actually start the server and then this is what it'll cost monthly like i said you can get free um shards from their discord this is probably the best one if you have shards this is these servers are more for like developing your server and then putting it into a better hosting or like a paid hosting that has better memory or like you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm gonna just click on the first one and then it should instantly start like that and then you go to manage you might have to log into here, I'm not 100% sure. And then you gotta wait for this to finish right here. Okay, once the installer is done, it'll look something like this. You wanna go on the left and find startup. And then in startup, you wanna find your 5M license. You need to go to this website right here. And then you sign into your Keymaster, in into your CFX forum account. And then you have your servers, or like you gotta make one. And some of them, you probably should just make a new one if you have one, unless like they aren't set to one ip so this one is not so once you have your key you paste it in here and then you set the players to like whatever let's just say i'm gonna just set it to four and then you recommend it and then you set the name whatever i'm gonna just set it to my name you don't need one of these unless you want one i guess and you really don't need to use tx if you want to use tx admin you can once you have everything set in here you add your files in here you go to resources add your files go to server cfg and then don't don't change any of this stuff up here but add your files right here change the server name whatever you want to do and then you press start okay once this pops up like this that it started you can go ahead and open 5m okay and then connect to the server you just want to grab the ip right here and then type f8 and press f8 or then type connect paste it in or okay so it's worked for me but if that doesn't work you just type it on like whatever you set the name of it to make sure you're gonna fill this on and it should pop up here mine's not so i'm gonna just use this so I, I keep getting this error right here i'm about to show you how to change the server to the recent version of 5m real quick just so i can fix this error and if you have the error same error type so first thing you want to do go to your files go to server cfg add anywhere in your cfg just make a new line and add this sv underscore enforce game build and then make this whatever game build you want to enforce i'm gonna just keep it as this one 2802 and then you want to save the cfg down here start and then it should be a different version okay so now when i press connect once that version has been put in the um server cfg once i press connect it should say this yeah you are trying to join a different game version and now it should work Okay, so now that worked perfectly. We're in the server. I haven't really added any resources, so I can't no clip. I can't do anything. You need to add V menu and shit. But I mean, it's a simple server that you don't have to localize. Like it's more like a development server. So like, let's say you're testing clothing, or scripture making, or like Y maps, any kind of maps really, or you just want to test anything. I guess cars, whatever. You can just use this shit. It's better than hosting a server on your PC. It's way better than hosting a server on your PC. Even your friends could join this shit. Anyone could join this shit if you if you send them the IP or you send them the name. But yeah, man, make sure to like, subscribe, and have a good day. All the links are in the description for this shit, by the way.